I am definitely not the first person to tell you that the button down shirt is one of the best essentials to have in your wardrobe, especially if you have been working hard to build up those basics in your collection, you need to have a button down shirt. And I'm going to show you, I think it's around eight or nine different ways that I am just styling it for the shoulder seasons of winter in through spring. I think we could do this again in the summer, but without further ado, I'm going to start with a short history because I'm a super fashion nerd like that. And then we will dive into the looks. I love a bit of fashion history. So the white button down shirt, often associated with a classic Oxford shirt, especially if you're in the UK, has a rich history. It dates back to the 19th century. The fabric of the Oxford shirt was actually invented in a weaving mill in Scotland. And the Oxford part of it, well, that originated from the traditional attire of polo players in England, who used the buttons to keep their collars up during matches. And the practical feature was then adopted by students at the University of Oxford, which hence the name Oxford shirt. This shirt gained widespread popularity in the 20th century, particularly in the United States. A white button down shirt also further gained popularity by figures like President John F. Kennedy and actor Cary Grant, who epitomized classic timeless appeal, which is 100% what we want to do with our collection moving forward. Over the years, the white button down shirt has evolved and adapted in a ton of different ways, including the one that I'm going to be showing you today. It's the linen version. I got this at a PR event actually with Uniqlo. So this isn't sponsored, but this was gifted to me. But linen specifically, it's great for moving into those shoulder seasons of the warmer months because it's known for breathability and lightweight texture. And this is 100% European linen, which is exactly what we want. It's the ideal choice for spring, summer, and warmer climates. It's going to be just an essential no matter what. So even though linen is thought of for summer and spring, and even white button down shirts in the past were just thought of as menswear, it has now become a staple in both of our wardrobes. And I wanna show you how I'm styling it for late winter and moving into spring. We're gonna dress it up, we're gonna dress it down, and I'm gonna show you how I wear it in different occasions. Let's do it. What I have done is I've put together quite a few looks for you. I believe there's eight or nine. And to start off the base, this shirt is from Uniqlo. It is in their small, in their women's collection. They just came out with a ton of new colors. Now, what I will say, fall, winter, I go for a true to size. Spring, summer, late spring, summer, I'm gonna go for something that's a little bit more oversized when it comes to my linen. I love that flow and that bohemian feel. So my next purchase from them is going to be their medium. Now the menswear line, it has a pocket. So I actually might go for the small in the menswear knowing that will be a little bit oversized but with a pocket. This is 100% European linen and it's exactly what you wanna look for when you're looking for natural fabrics. So the first thing that I wanna show you is basically the base of how I'm gonna be building a lot of these wardrobe basics and just essentials. I always like having a foundation. The best foundation for this outfit is going to be simply a dark wash pair of jeans. These are the straight leg Wilder jeans from Reformation. I'm gonna tag everything in the description box. A Cezanne belt. I have also got Margot ballet flats, 100% leather, so they are not gonna smell, they're gonna stretch perfectly to your feet, and I have topped it with a trench. And a trench is absolutely the perfect outerwear staple. Again, another essential in my wardrobe that I think is so perfect for spring. I haven't got a chance to wear her yet either. I got her during a Boxing Day sale from Shauna Joy, and I have just been loving this caramelly kind of trench color. Plus this Demelier bag is new to me, but I didn't tell you that because I think I'm gonna do a roundup of some new and things in my wardrobe coming up very soon. I just love how classic this look is. And it just says Carol Bissett Kennedy to me. It is so classic, it is so timeless, and I can't wait to wear it in the spring summer. This is gonna be more like late winter into spring. The next base is something that I could definitely wear now. Even though it is in cream and some people may object, I don't really care. I could definitely wear a pair of tights that are fleece lined or just a regular thick kind of sheer text tight. This is a long skirt from Dish, so all you need is a maxi skirt, a pair of boots. I would always recommend with a maxi skirt or even a midi skirt to wear a knee high boot. You don't wanna get that meat sandwich, that little ankle piece from just wearing a booty. And then I've kind of broken up this look with a nice little belt. And just tucking in that linen shirt, it looks so put together. This is something I could definitely see myself wearing to the office. And if I wanted to bump this up just a touch in terms of warmth, what I would do is I would take one of my crop jackets and this one's from Maz Maduti. And you have been seeing these everywhere. The rise of the cropped tweed jacket, that Chanel-esque kind of feel is absolutely everywhere. The other day I was in Zara and I saw an, a full wall of them. So whatever your price point is, you can definitely find one of these if it is your style. 
I'll show you another version of that a little bit later, but this is one that says that I'm gonna be like the next creator of the new tech app that is going to come up. I love how kind of playful, but also work style this is. Um, you've got the sneaker, you've got a trouser. This is the Abercrombie Sloan trouser. I've talked about these a million times because I love them so much. And then I'm wearing it with this dish belt that really screams quiet luxury. I was going to pair my Celine belt, but I wanted something a little bit more understated. And then making this a warmer outfit, especially for this time of year, you take the linen shirt, which adds a little bit of that style. You can definitely style this up, but you have that monochromatic base. So just a really nice thin turtleneck from Zara paired underneath. I've never worn this outfit before, but I feel like it is really, really fun. And it kind of adds a little bit of that androgynous flair to this outfit. And of course, if you were going to pop a coat over top, I would recommend a long line wool jacket. And if you've got the black one as well, bonus, doesn't, doesn't matter though. Throw that over top and you are definitely good to go with this outfit. Let's keep in line with the trousers. This time we're gonna go with the mason pant from Reformation. These are really nice, but I will say if you hate wrinkles, they're gonna be the bane of your existence. So I did iron these before doing this try on, just a shout, but I mean linen, linen wrinkles too. So it's not too big of a deal, but I did a nice little tuck for this one. And then you can always add a little bit of flair and a little bit of style with kind of folding up those sleeves, pushing them up as well on your arm. I feel like that's a really big part of wearing a white shirt is depending on what outfit you're wearing is gonna kind of speak to how you're gonna have those cuffs. But this is a late winter, early spring outfit, so we need to warm this up because that linen shirt is quite thin. What I've done here is I've paired a knit. This one is from Holland Cooper, and it has just a gorgeous kind of chunky style. What I love about this is you're getting that feeling of the sweater, but say you have a jacket that has maybe some thinner arms, a trench that is a bit more tailored, you're gonna be able to wear that, but you're still gonna have that long sleeve feel. However, I just feel like a cuff and the white shirt is just a little bit more dressy when you do take that coat off than just a simple long sleeve cotton shirt. So I love this look and I am already thinking as I'm saying this out loud, I'm gonna wear this look with my pink trench, which I know is gonna be so gorgeous. I'll post that on my Instagram eventually. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. This is why I love doing these videos. And the next look is a little bit more casual, but still has style and still has that upscale flair because we're going back to the crop jacket, specifically the tweed jacket. However, I know I've shown you pretty a neutral palette up until this point. So we're gonna add a hint of blue. The blue coming out not only in the Chloe bag, but also in this really, really beautiful crop jacket. This is one that I recently got from Gualia. They sent it on over and I still cannot believe the quality of this jacket. It is so incredibly beautiful. They do crop jackets so well. So if you are interested in purchasing something that is true wool versus something that's polyester, I would 100% say Gualia is your way to go. I love the way that this looks with the white button down shirt underneath. It just looks so chic, so classic, and it's super comfortable, especially the fact that I'm just wearing these little Mary Janes. It's that upscale feel from a sneaker. A Mary Jane as well is something that if you do lean towards feminine style, I would say put that on your wish list for spring, summer. These are the Paula babies from Cezanne and I have absolutely loved them. I can't wait to wear them more. They're super comfortable. This next look, I'm just not 100% sure about. So I would love to hear you guys in the comments. I was just having a play. I was planning on just showing you five looks, but then kind of the train just ran off the tracks without me. But this is a very, very kind of professional look. You've got the long skirt as well as the blazer. This is an odd muse blazer, which I do love and I'm trying to find multiple ways to wear it. Do I feel like this is my style right now in this moment? No, I don't think so. But I did still wanna show you guys, even though it's not something I would necessarily wear at this moment because I think I lean more towards that feminine style that also is like florals and lighter colors. But still, maybe you're at home watching and you're thinking, oh my gosh, actually, I love that combo. So had to leave this in here. <laughs> this is why I wasn't sure whether I had eight or nine looks, but I still wanted to show you with this knee-high boots. They're from Dolce Vita. And yeah, I just love this blazer. It is, it is really, really cool and really chic. This is my <laughs> like college student look. I think that if I was heading to class, this would be so incredibly adorable and better than what I actually wore in university, which was root sweatpants and a huge oversized sweater. 
straight leg jeans, the same Wilder jeans from Reformation. I have my sneakers on, they're Reebok. They're super incredibly comfortable. I love how those jeans come all the way down to the shoe. But then instead of just throwing this crew neck on, this one, it's from H&M. I love the way that the weave in the knit goes. It's just really beautiful, especially for this time of year. But I loved layering the white shirt underneath. I've done it with a turtleneck, but I actually feel like the collar from the white shirt just makes this look so much better. I could definitely picture myself running out, grabbing groceries, and you guys know I love to kind of upscale any look with my accessories, and that's where the Chloe Test cross bag comes in. Perfect for on the go, perfect for elevating any look. Two looks left, and I had to come back to that basic formula that I showed you at the beginning of the video just to show you how far it can go. So we've got the jeans, we've got a belt on, we have our white button up, but then instead of adding a jacket or a trench, this time I have gone for a cardigan. This is the Betty sweater from Cezanne. And instead of doing it up all the way, I have stayed true to its more cardigan feel in this way versus having it as kind of a full long sleeve sweater. Having that out in a crew with a little bit more depth to the white, I love when creams and whites kind of are layered over top of each other versus that full monochrome where things can get kind of lost. Plus bringing out from the tortoise shell in the button, we also have the belt and the bag kind of matching with that. In this look, I wore my Paula Babies again from Cezanne in the cream because it matched the sweater so perfectly. But I also feel like if you can remember the Margot flats I was wearing, they are in a camel. I was so tempted to change out of these shoes to put those on because they would also fit perfectly. And that was kind of the moment in making this where I was like, you really are making a wardrobe full of mixable, matchable pieces. And finally, last but not least, this is where I will show you the flats. So I'm glad that I didn't share them in the last outfit to kind of mix things up. So these are a pair of True Leather Margot flats. They are so incredibly comfortable. I'll link those down below as well. But this is a little set, a little coward I found on Amazon. And it has been one of my best leisure outfit purchases I have made yet. One, it matches Rosie perfectly. So I feel like I am matching her. But two, I have never considered until making this video, this kind of look. I would always just pair the sweater with the joggers and just have it kind of call it a day at that. But making these videos is so fun for shopping your own wardrobe. So I put the shirt on, the linen shirt, tucked it in just slightly, and then layered the sweater over top for a little bit of depth. Even in this shot here, I've done that. This is an outfit I could definitely picture myself wearing to the airport, for example, especially when I know it's gonna be chillier on the plane, I would just throw on the sweater. And then as soon as I reach my destination, especially if it was a warmer destination, I could easily take off the sweater and be nice and comfortable in my linen button down shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what piece that you think I should do next for an essentials how to style video. I would love to hear down below because it is all about extending our wardrobe. I think we came up with some formulas that I definitely know I'm gonna be leaning on in the next little bit. If you've made it this far, please do subscribe. Would love to have you a part of this cozy little nook of the internet. More fashion, lifestyle, home, and travel to come. We are actually traveling very soon. So if you're into vacation outfits, definitely subscribe. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.